So I wasn't going to have another beer today because I'm, um, I don't know, I'm getting old and I'm trying to stay a little bit healthy. And um, But I'm running out of time with Canada. Every time I come over here, I usually have 250 to 300 new beers. And this time I'm running way behind schedule. There's only so much time left and so many beers to drink. Um, that I figured I'd crack this one. Looking forward to it. Dead Frog's 10th anniversary. Um, it's a nut brown ale with Fraser Valley raspberries. I think it's 7% uh, alcohol. Brewed in celebration of the first beer they ever brewed 10 years ago. Uh, 44 IBU. Now, um, the, uh, the chick at the place that I bought this off, she didn't seem to know much about it. I asked her uh, uh, how long it's been out for. Uh, just because I don't want to get stale beers, of course. And she said, oh, they get it in all the time. Um, sometimes they don't have it, sometimes they do. I don't think she really understands the concept of an anniversary ale. But, pause, dark, black, no mahogany highlights, tan head. Looks like a stout rather than a nut brown to me, but that's all right. On the nose, there's a uh, roasty chocolate with definite notes of raspberry. Wow, that's a bit sour. Really quite roasty. Like very roasty. It's not a nut brown, it's more a stout. Um, it's got a lactic tartness to it. I'm not sure if that's coming from the strawberries or if they've used fresh strawberries and picked up a bit of a lacto, um, a lacto infection or something. Sweet malt up front, medium full body, quite tart, um, moderately sweet finish, bitterness is very firm, raspberries are um, not prominent. It's disappointing because normally Dead Frog do some really really good stuff, this one is not their best. Uh, I will keep an eye out for more Dead Frog beers but yeah, just a, a touch disappointed in this one. But don't hold that against the brewery, because they do some cracking stuff.